To my February, February, can I not speak? <laughs> welcome to my February reset, everyone. Welcome, grab a drink, grab a snack, let's reset together. So, as you can tell, you know, I'm very February dressed today, if you will. Um, I have my heart sweater that I got on, I have some cute little heart bow earrings, and a little bow necklace. You know, we're feeling the love this February. I'm excited about it. I feel very motivated and really happy. And I think a lot of it has to do, honestly, with continuing doing these monthly resets. So if this is a new concept to you, I do have a video explaining how to start doing your own resets. And of course, it's an interchangeable experience. It's personal. So that's basically like a little guide of an outline, but you can make it totally your own completely. So yeah, but today I'm going to be going over my February reset. So in today's video, we're going to obviously go through February's goals, what I'm going to do to reach those goals and stuff like that. Also in this video towards the end, I go through my favorites. So what I've been really liking in January that has to do with beauty products, activities, media, anything like that. So stay tuned for that. But first we have to review January. So last month, of course, because I do think that this is key reviewing and reflecting on your months and seeing how your goals are going or the progress or if there's no progress that's okay life happens but I think it's important to go back and see how you're doing and reflect to know what you want to do for the next month so let's go ahead and start with January if you see me looking down I have a laptop right here so let's go ahead and get started so for January my main priorities were growth slash relax relaxation and inner peace Let's see if I got to that, <laughs> which I think I actually did do really well in those two areas. So moving down, you see that the goals and habits, um, these are the categories again for February. I haven't really changed them, but health, personal slash other, and then work, and work again referring to YouTube work, not my work outside of YouTube. So for health, I put seriously work on my sleep routine. You know what? I actually have been doing this. Have I been sleeping better? A little bit. But I have done a lot of progress when it comes to this, making a very good effort. And I actually do think the past week I have been sleeping a little bit better. Now, has it been amazing? No, but baby steps are a big thing. So I'm still proud of myself. So I feel happy to check that off my list. Find motivation to go on walks. Honestly, no. <laughs> um, well, a little bit. I did have some motivation last week, but the weather was very cold outside. That's my excuse for it. I know some people still don't mind it. I honestly don't have good discipline when it gets really cold. And then the treadmill that we have, I was not able to use it at all. Um, really almost this month due to things. So those are my little excuses. However, I could have made more of an effort, so I can't tick that off, but that's okay because I know next month in February, I can focus on that a little bit more. And then my other health goal was my tracking of a cycle. And yes, I have been doing that actually, and I've learned a lot about myself already. So I have been using an app called Stardust, and this is not sponsored. I just learned about it actually, I think through a subscriber mentioned in one of my videos. Um, in my, my 2024 reset video, they recommended it to me because that was a goal for my 2024 reset. Anyways, so I have been really liking this app. I'm learning lots, and it's like crazy how much... Like, it's just so interesting to learn all about how your brain changes during these different phases. So I actually have been doing that. Personal slash other section. So try out matcha. I, matcha. <laughs> I have been doing that actually. I bought matcha. I learned how to do it. I've made a nice recipe for myself that I think is now my like go-to. I even hung out with a friend this past weekend and we went to go grab coffee and I ordered a matcha. So I am proud of myself for that one. So checking that off. Do first step in paperwork. These, this refers to some paperwork I just have to do for life. <laughs> and no, I have not done the first step. So that's still there. That I really need to get it done. Like I've really been putting it off, but it, it, enough is enough. I have to do it. The next thing on there is making time for reading. I have been doing that actually. I made a little schedule and I don't want to go too much into it because I'm making a big video about it. But I have actually scheduled some time in my day for reading, and I actually really like it. In fact, I even can't wait to do it, which is like a big thing, because 
I never once wanted to sit down and read, so progress is being made for sure. My other goals for work were film and post 10 vertical videos. I did do that and I actually exceeded that, so heck yeah. <laughs> and engage with other small creators. I actually have. I've made a new friend, um, Rosie, <laughs> if you're watching this. Um, and yeah, so she's lovely. I'm also trying to like look at and find new smaller creators to watch and, and subscribe and you know, of course engage with. I'm also trying to do that on Instagram. So yeah, so I'm having lots of fun with that. So I'll definitely check that off. That was really nice. So these are the steps that I had included for my how I'm going to reach the goals that we just talked about. So stop doom scrolling in the blue light before bed. I have actually been working on that. And then tracking the sun and weather. So clearly I need to do that a little bit more. Confirm tracking numbers and calendar. I have listing out matcha. Reading time before bed, yep, and plan out the 10 plus schedule for my, that's, that has to do with the reels, so, yeah, so that's great. Scrolling down, I had the section about things that I was looking forward to, so I was looking forward to getting more sleep, which I actually did. Being proud of small and intentional growth, that refers to YouTube, especially with, um, when it comes to posting reels and stuff. I have seen it actually and I am feeling good and proud about it. Having fun experimenting with content, absolutely, especially with the reels, like I'm having lots of fun trying out different things. Not everything lands, clearly, um, but you know, still I'm having fun nonetheless. And then getting outside more, saying goodbye to the darkest part of the year. Yeah, I, yeah, it, it's been dark. Like, I don't know if Ontario has seen that much sunlight in the past month, to be honest. I think I saw a post that Toronto only saw like a few minutes of sunlight for like over a month. I don't know what it was for Ottawa, but it's been dark and it like started to hit a little bit, but I'm excited that we're kind of like slowly getting out of that step. I think it's actually sunny right now today, so cool. Alrighty, so now let's go to the reflections for January before we head into February. So my reflection questions, I have two of them. The first one is, what do I want to change for next month? So next month being February, the one that we're going to get into next. So I want to figure out what healthy habits I want to build and build a realistic, a realistic plan on how to build them, which I'll be getting into. I want to focus on eating less processed foods, just something that we've noticed that we've just ate a little bit more processed foods in the past few months than we usually have. So something we want to just work on. And then the other thing is I'd like to drink more matcha and drink less coffee. So again, with the goal, which I have done a little bit, but yeah, I want, my goal is to switch to matcha most days and like it hasn't been most that I've switched. So, you know, it, but again, it's a slow, slow progress. The next question in my reflection is what am I proud of myself for this month? First of all, I'm proud of keeping up with posting three shorts a week. So I ended up doing really well with that actually. And I had fun doing it. I'm proud of keeping, of being consistent with my two uploads a week on YouTube, even when I thought I couldn't keep up. Yeah, that was a big one. Consistency I think is key on pretty much any platform, but especially YouTube. And these are like expectations and goals that I've put on to myself. And I do work full time and blah, blah, blah. Like, I don't want to talk your ear off about that because I feel like I mentioned that a lot. But in all honesty, I am very tired at the end of the day. And then I also work on my YouTube stuff. So it is, you know, it's taking up a lot of my space, but I actually enjoy it too. So it is fun. But I am proud of myself because there were moments this month that I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the video up. Like, I was exhausted. So, but with a little bit more planning, an organization, I was able to do it, so I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for figuring out how to make matcha and how to make me like it. I'm also proud of myself for cho choosing to drink it over the coffee, so that refers to the this weekend when I did it. So yeah, I found the recipe. I like iced oat, iced oat matcha, no, iced <laughs> vanilla matcha with oat milk. I really like that one. I'm proud that figuring out that reading at bedtime actually works for me. I'm also happy I'm actually enjoying it and even looking forward to it. So going back to my reading, yes, I found that reading at bedtime does work and I'm trying to figure out like how long to give myself, but right now it's around 10, 15 minutes and it works really well for me. So yeah, and stay tuned on that because I am making a video about healthy habits and all that jazz. The next thing that I wrote was I felt the seasonal depression hit and again, non-diagnosed, um, but it felt manageable this time. So. Yeah, in all the other years, I would get super highly unmotivated and like hibernate, not talk to people, not go out, um, just feel really down, honestly. And then it just, it wasn't good for a lot of different reasons. But this time when I felt it, 
you know, I recognized it, but then was like, okay, what can I do to feel a little bit better? Now, of course, this, you know, not everyone can do that. And it's not about having the ability within you or not. It's just sometimes your brain just won't let you do that. But I've just noticed in myself this year, I was able to pull myself out of those times, which I just, I feel proud of myself for recognizing that I can do that. And I find that scheduling or like keeping activities and plans for these months um, and having ideas of what to do during these months has kept my mind occupied and busy. So when I felt this, it, it wasn't like debilitating. I was able to be like, okay, well, maybe if I do this project, I will distract myself and not think about the sadness that is not seeing the sun and, you know, just feeling a sense of dread and, and loneliness and stuff like that. So anyways, and if you're new to the channel, I have made a video about things to do to combat your seasonal depression. It's basically like a list of activities and things you can do to occupy your brain. And again, not a doctor. These are just my recommendations for someone who has felt the symptoms of seasonal depression but has never been formally diagnosed. Alright, so that's January, now let's head into February. Alright guys, so here's our February reset. So you'll notice that the top photo, the cover photo, isn't a photo or a collection of photos or anything. This time it's actually just a color. So what I usually like to do with this, I like to put the cover photo or something that reflects like what I want for the month. And in this case I put a color but it still does actually reflect it but this color just represents the kind of energy that I want to bring out with that, if that makes sense. And again, this is not this is not a necessary step by any means. I'm just a visual person. And I, honestly, I just like to look at an aesthetically pleasing screen when I'm working on this. Alrighty, so you see up top, my main priorities for the month of February are building healthy habits and sticking to them. <laughs> and then also being strategic. So being strategic also relates to my work with YouTube. So my goals and habits, again, it's the health, personal slash other slash work categories. So in health, I have put healthy habits into action. So I have a big detailed plan. I am filming a video on how to build healthier habits slash my personal experience. It'll be, you know, going through me planning the healthy habits, like why I've planned it, some tips from myself, and then also like diary kind of entries of myself going through two weeks of actually trying to set these um, habits. And then at the end, you know, what worked, what didn't work, you know, all that jazz. So I'm like currently filming it. So I'm currently in the in the part where I'm actually like trying out the routine and doing my like diary entries. So stay tuned for that. I think it'll be interesting. And then the next health goal is to try to limit takeout. I mentioned this in a vlog before, um, but honestly, I, I've never been like a big, I've always liked eating out, like eating different foods and, you know, going to restaurants. But now that we don't do that anymore, we do still order food. So I'm just trying to limit the processed foods when it comes to takeout for sure because you know we like I I haven't ever been really the person to like always want fast food and not that, not saying that we eat that all the time but like we eat it definitely a lot more than I want to slash that I'm used to so basically I want to cut that out also it also will save a little bit of money doing that as well so that's why I put that there the next thing that I want to do is plan out my lunches I have started to do that. In some vlogs, you'll notice that we have meal prepped some different meals, but those one, those meals, although they taste good, they're just not working out right now for us. So I want to think of other ideas. Um, so I put here that I want to plan out lunches and have two options. So the two options basically uh, have to do with like if you if I want something like sweet or savory for lunch, like different types of options for flavor, because. I have a hard time if I'm not like in the mood to be eating something, I have a lot of food aversions. So if I don't have options for myself, I'll often panic and then not eat and then overeat when it comes to supper because I waited too long. So that's just a big thing. So I recognize that about myself. So I know I need to be prepared for that. And then for personal slash other, I need to do the first step of the paperwork. Like I've had this since January. And the next one is try to relax. So. This might also be a video, we don't know. But overall, like I mentioned in my 2024 reset, I wanna be able to relax. I'm kind of a high strung person. My brain is always on, I'm anxious. So I just wanna learn how to intentionally set time aside for relaxing. And I know that doesn't sound like a relaxing thing to set time aside, 
but in in reality that's that's what I have to do that's what's gonna have to work for me so I'm trying to think of things activities or just things that I can do that I actually find relaxing which I know might sound so simple but for someone who is not chill <laughs> it is a struggle so I'll be working on that and then for work I want to start trying to and here's where the strategy part comes from trying to prep videos more in advance so right now I'm constantly working on at least two videos a week and you know sometimes it's very stressful if I'm editing the video that I need to upload like the next day so I don't want to do that I want to like have things banked so that you know if I need you know if a day or two that I'm like not feeling great like mentally and I just need a break or a week even I can just not you know and then catch up later because I'll already have prepped some videos but right now it's like go do this, film this, edit this, up, film this, do this, edit this, up. Like it's just, I'm recognizing that it's a lot for me. So I don't, you know, I don't want to create added stress when this is supposed to be fun because it is fun for me, but it's not fun feeling exhausted and stressed about it, you know, and I'm adding that stress to myself. So I'm just trying to be a little bit more strategic about it. So I'll figure it out. <laughs> Those are the goals for my month. Fantastic. But how am I going to achieve them? Let's look at the steps that I've created and the to-dos. So the first one is to figure out and outline clearly what healthy habits that I want to build. So that's something that I've been working on. My next step slash to-do is to browse Pinterest for lunch ideas. Again, I just need to find things that would work for me that are easy, non-stressful lunch ideas that I can actually eat and enjoy and be healthy. So the next thing is to start meal planning even for the weekend. So. I already have like a really good meal planning process for the week, but I haven't really done it for the weekend because things would come up or we'd actually go do something and order food typically, like at least once every weekend, which can start to add up slash if we choose an unhealthy choice, then that, you know, the bad stuff starts to add up too, but you know, whatever. Take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is just for me. I don't care nor will I ever judge anyone for eating whatever they want. Like that's not something that I'm gonna ever comment on so anyways this is just for myself so the idea of meal planning for the weekend will you know make sense for me to be like oh we don't need to go buy something because this healthy meal has already been planned and we already have the groceries for it let's make it so visit website refers to the paperwork I have to do that's just for me the next thing is think about what types of videos I can batch film or film ahead of time so yep that's a good one for the YouTube Think of things that are easy for me that it doesn't have to be more, it doesn't have to be like real time slash sit down videos and stuff like that. I have to really think about that. If for some reason you have any ideas for me, I would love to hear them. Feel free to comment them down below, but that's definitely not your job. <laughs> that's my job to think of them. But if you do have something you want to watch, maybe I didn't think of it. So let me know. So the next one is actively plan time to relax and ensure daily downtime. So that refers to the relaxation. Again, have to just think about ways in which that I can relax and I do have a few ideas. We have a little cabin getaway which I will be vlogging um, and that whole thing is supposed to, it's supposed to really relax me. It's supposed to be about just chilling and taking time for ourselves because Switzerland will also be joining me obviously. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and I am trying to plan some things that I will do while I'm there to add to the relaxation. So. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so scrolling down to the what am I looking forward to this month. So I'm looking forward to feeling a sense of balance in my life. That refers to all the healthy habits and also the workload with YouTube. Uh, waking up feeling better. These healthy habits, honestly, I'm really hoping I will just have a general sense of feeling better <laughs> every day. Um, and then the last one is better sleep, which in turn will make me feel better, of course, but also just health reasons and for waking up and not feeling pissed up at the world or angry <laughs> reasons like you know just yeah it'd be nice to wake up and be like okay ready for the day not like you know you know anyways and you'll notice too in the health slash personal and stuff I didn't mention the daily walks however the exercise portion is something I do want to work and I've included that with my building healthy habits section so that is part of it um, I'm just figuring out what that is. It might not look like daily walks because clearly that isn't working for me right now because I haven't gone daily. So yeah. 
So those are my goals and habits for February and everything that I'm looking forward to. I am really looking forward to seeing how these healthy habits go. I think that'll be really interesting. And, you know, obviously I'll go through it in my March reset, but also look for that healthy habits video. I promise I'm not going to mention it again. I feel like I've been plugging that video forever. I better be good, note to myself. Like, <laughs> So that's great. So now we can move into my favorites, which I'm very excited. So this is a new portion that I've been adding uh, ever since my last reset. So things that I've just really liked over the past month in January, um, and I just want to share them with you. So let's start with skincare first, which these will be random. I'm just going to say these are random things. So yeah, I have two skincare items that I've just been obsessed with all of January, and I probably will continue to be obsessed with for the rest of the year. But I love this, and this is not new. I've had this for a while. This is the Laneige, or Laneige, probably Laneige, um, lip mask. It's a lip sleeping mask, so I do that in the evening. And it's just like a balm, and it comes with a little stick, or you can use your finger, of course, clean fingers only. And you just put it on your lips at night, and it's a lip mask so that you wake up with hydrated lips. So I do use that every single night, and I do wake up with hydrated lips. And I am a chapped girly, let me tell you. It's been a struggle to find something that I like. And the, the scent is not, like, irritating because I have a hard time with scents. I really enjoy this one. This one is the peppermint one. Um, but I also just wear it as a lip gloss in the daytime, too. And it's super hydrating if I'm wearing lipstick. Um, I'll put this on first, and then I'll put my lipstick on top, which I actually have today. Um, and it doesn't look overly, like, glossy like a glazed donut or anything like that. It just, it works really well. So I really like this one. Also, it matches my shirt. Slave. The next thing is also from Laneige, and it's, and it's this water sleeping mask. So similar to this one, I put this every single night, but it's all over my face. So my skin, um, and it just really hydrates your skin overnight. And in the morning, I do apply moisturizer. Uh, but this just helps like avoid a lot of like uh, build up of dead skin honestly before using this I would kind of see that dead skin in the morning like flakes on my forehead and that could just be because I have severely dry skin but I also have psoriasis so overall my skin can get really patchy and gross <laughs> to be honest um, and dry but basically and it dry to the point that it hurts so anyways this has really been helping um, and it's not clinic like clinical or anything like that you just can get it at sephora or whatever but i really really like it like and i've been quite enjoying that the next thing is kind of an accessory but i got a few pieces of jewelry as a gift from a friend um for christmas and i'm wearing a pair of earrings right now i'm wearing the necklace right now and then here's it's from avid uh root if you're english um ooh. I love these. These are my absolute favorite, which is funny because I'm not wearing them, but look how adorable these are. But yeah, all the other ones I absolutely love too. I just find that they're very lightweight, they're cute, they do not irritate my skin because I do have sensitive skin. Yeah, I really like them, they're lightweight, and I just think they're so cute and very girly, which I just tend to like right now. And I will say also they had some compostable packaging um, instead of plastic, which I really appreciate, so cute. My next favorite is my Bobbi Goods coloring book. So I had ordered this before, but it kind of took a long time for shipping. It's not a big deal for me, but I finally got it and I'm so happy. I've just been loving coloring, you know, during my lunch breaks or during some time that I have, anytime really, um, sometimes before bed. So they're, it's really cute. I've only started a few in this book. This one I did, you might have seen my vertical shorts, I guess, on YouTube that I posted, but it's so cute and I just love all the colors. But yeah, the characters in it are just adorable. I really like that in the front you have this section that you can start checking off or coloring in uh, all the ones that you've colored. So as you finish the different, um, the different pages, they're all named, so you can check them off. And I love a checklist, so yeah. And so definitely check them out, also not sponsored. I think they're a small business as well. So anyways, check them out for sure. I will say their stuff sells out very quickly. So yeah, so just be mindful of that. Like, because I'm showing you this today, you might not be able to buy it today, unfortunately. The next thing that is my has been a favorite in January is my new matcha powder. So I've been talking about using matcha and I do really, really like it. And I'm so happy I actually got this one. Although it is a little bit pricey, I find for the amount that you get, it is a high quality matcha, which is exactly what you're looking for when you make it because it'll throw off the taste and the color if it's not a good one. And also you have to store it properly. So this one stores in the fridge. I'm not gonna go take it out because I don't want it to have to sit out for time that it doesn't to just not not break the seal and anything like that. 
but this is what it looks like. I really, really like it, and I highly recommend using this one. All right, moving forward to media. So I'm going to, have to be talking about TV shows. So on Netflix in Canada, at least, they recently uploaded, I think, two seasons of the Beverly Hills Housewives. And again, I mentioned this in a vlog, like it's not like breaking super important television media, I, but I don't think all media has to be. This is something that I really enjoyed turning my brain off and watching. It's a train wreck you cannot help but look at. The quotes from these people are insane. A lot of them are out of touch with reality, but I've enjoyed just watching it and it's like very dramatic. It's not critically acclaimed or anything, but I've been enjoying it. And if you need to have, you know, have some rot time, I highly recommend it. And the other thing that I wanted to mention is uh, a channel, a YouTube channel here. So I did mention that I, one of my goals was to, you know, interact with other small creators and I had mentioned Rosie. So we have chatted a little bit. Rosie is lovely and I've also been enjoying Rosie's content a lot. So this is their channel name. Make sure to check them out if you, well, if you would like to. Uh, a lot of their content is similar to mine, but of course different in their own ways. They have their own personality and own ways of filming and editing, which I really, really enjoy. And she also has a little bit longer videos than I do, which is something I'm trying to do because I actually love watching the end video all of her videos like all throughout completely and I'm always shy and think that no one wants to watch me that much so my videos tend to be a little bit shorter but I'd like to eventually do that because anyways I, I really like her channel I really like her content right now so anyways give give them a, a check out if you would like to so yeah those are my favorites for January I'm looking forward to seeing what's gonna be my favorites for February of course <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know down below if you have anything that you're working on towards this month Maybe some of your goals are similar to mine. Maybe they're not. Whichever they are, I'd like to know. And of course, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to. It would help me out a lot. And thank you so much for being here. And um, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day, everyone.